Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I'm a homemaking style channel and happy Valentine's Day. If you're watching this, I am assuming that you're celebrating Valentine's Day and you are looking for some affordable basket ideas. Everything you see today is purchased from the Dollar Tree, including the baskets themselves. So it's very affordable. I think the baskets range from anywhere from six to $12, including the basket. The kind of themes of the baskets are good for those people in your life who love gardening, baking for that teen or college age student. I have a basket for the coffee lover in your life. I know sometimes our husbands and our dads can seem a little hard to get for, so I have a really cool basket idea for them as well. And remember, everything is between six and $12, including the baskets. So I am excited to get started on that. And by the way, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm a homemaking style channel. I love doing decor videos. I love doing like organization videos, home projects, DIY, stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. All right, y'all, I don't know about you, but I am ready to get these baskets made, see how they turn out. So let's get started on making these baskets. Before we jump in, I did wanna introduce you to my friend Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Sophie started this journey as a way to help her friends, family, and community get organized with in-home professional organizing services. And then she started sharing her organization, clean productivity, and motivational content on her Instagram a few years back and recently on YouTube. And I could not recommend her channel more, y'all. She's actually currently doing a thorough yet simple to follow decluttering challenge on her channel now. So I will link her Instagram and her channel in the description box below, and you'll have to let her know I sent you. All right, y'all, so this first category is the person in your life who loves gardening, who loves plants. This was a total of $9. These were four for a dollar. I actually can't find where the fourth one is. I'm also gonna share a way to make this look a lot neater. We're gonna clean this up. I noticed whenever I cut off the little hole that, you know, that's how they hang them on the little hangers to display them. I notice it just looks a lot neater when I cut that off. And so I'll show you how that looks. Like I said, it's nothing mandatory. You don't have to do it, but if you're looking for that more cleaned up look, I'll kind of show you how to do that. And then also this basket was from the Dollar Tree. I thought this was a really pretty basket all on its own, but you could always DIY this and paint it as well. I didn't want to just get fun little things for the garden. Yes, that is the goal here, but I wanted to put a little something sweet in there. I decided to go with these strawberry and cream chocolates. I thought this would be perfect. Of course, like I said, when it comes to this type of candy and maybe the design, you could switch that up a little bit based on who you're getting it for. But for the most part, this is going to give you a general idea. Of course, some of these things can be replaced for something else to personalize it a little better. All right, y'all, let's get started putting this first basket together. So first I'm gonna clean up this look by cutting off the top of this packaging, like I had mentioned earlier, and then I'm gonna add some tissue paper inside to give it some more color and interest. And you'll see I'll actually kind of cut, and what I can't cut, I will fold over and tape um, just to make the packaging look neater on everything. That small little detail actually makes a huge difference. It just gives it a nicer finished look to the basket, but I'm gonna play around with the items until I think it looks cute, and then I will show y'all a little preview. So I actually decided I was going to finish off this look by fanning the tissue paper and just kind of placing it behind the items inside the basket, once again, just to give it more color and interest. All right, y'all, so this next one is for the baker in your life. Once again, this is all from Dollar Tree, y'all. Also, in case you were wondering, that was super easy to come off. Way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Also, I got my cellophane wrap from the Dollar Tree, so it is just a dollar as well.
Okay, so here you have it. Cute little dish towel, a nice smelling candle, some chocolates. You have your wooden mixing spoon, scraper, some more high-end oil. You have your cookie mix, your baking bowl. Yeah, so I feel like this is well balanced and ready to wrap. So I'm just gonna add a bow and I actually ended up adding a little red balloon and an extra red bow to this just to make it pop a little bit more and I'll do a preview of all the baskets and the finished looks at the end of this video. So this is for the person that loves the traditional Valentine's Day colors and just in general loves the colorful pinks and reds and just loves bright colors in general. If I had to categorize it, I'd maybe say this basket would be good for like your teen or college age student, but honestly, I'm in my early 30s and I love this basket too. So it can really be for anyone who's just kind of into this style, but it has your candles, your lip glosses, some cute socks. It's just a really fun, bright and colorful basket. All right, y'all, so this next one is for the coffee lover in your life. So you have the roasted ground breakfast blend coffee, bag of coffee. You have the instant coffee house blend, which this is actually a popular brand. Some breakfast biscuits. Then over here, some flavored cold coffee. You have a mocha and caramel. And then some coffee made creamer. Um, a couple things of chocolate. I thought that'd be paired really well with this basket. And then, and this really pretty coffee cup, which by the way, y'all, I have one of these and I love it. It's actually the coffee mug that I used whenever I did my Christmas clean and decorate with me video and I did like that hot chocolate, Italian hot chocolate. So I feel like this is stuff that a coffee lover would actually really enjoy, really use. And now we're just going to set it all up and make it look pretty. So I had actually forgot that I was gonna use cellophane wrap on this basket. So I took out my little red tissue paper with the decorative shredded paper in side of it. I just put that to the side, added the cellophane and then dropped the paper back in just in case y'all were wondering. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything in, stagger it how I think it looks nice. And y'all, this is just really about having fun with it. I honestly enjoy making baskets in general. I always have. And so don't stress out too much. Just get the items that you know the person that you're giving the basket to is going to love. Stag them how they look nice and just really have fun with it. All right, y'all, so I wanted to show you what I was going to do for my husband for Valentine's Day to give you an idea. And once again, this is all from the Dollar Tree. This is all stuff that I know he will use as well. Um, and I thought instead of doing like a lovey-dovey basket, I had seen this little toolbox. Now it is a cheaper toolbox, but I know he's always needing containers in his shop. So I thought this would be perfect for him. And this actually, it kind of falls back. So I'm gonna show you here in a second how you can fix 
that issue. All I did is I got him some of his favorite snacks. I got him some chips. He loves peanuts. He loves jerky. So I thought that'd be perfect instead of chocolate. I mean, he likes chocolate, but he's not a chocolate person. So I thought for him, this would be more fitting. This I thought was so cool. I actually might go back and get myself one of these, but it's a portable screwdriver and then you could actually put it on your keychain. Um, I got him some paracord, a wire brush set, some utility knives. So he's particular about the way he washes his car. So I decided to get him the auto glass cleaner because I know he's always wiping off of off his windows. And then I got him some little towels to kind of pair with that. Okay, so guys, this pin is one that I actually might go back and get myself. It actually is a pin, stylus. It also has a flashlight on the end of it and a laser. I thought this is actually a really cool pin and it was only a dollar. And he actually only has like a couple few different sizes of these. And I've heard him a couple times say he wish he had different sizes. So when I saw this, I thought, perfect. Um, and then I had some beeswax chapstick for him and I don't know where that went. Y'all know how chapstick goes, but I saw this Vaseline chapstick at the counter when I was actually checking out. So I thought, you know what, this will be really good to like put in his lunch bag so that he can always have it on him when he's at work or whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna set this all up nicely in the basket. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start out by removing the sticker off the toolbox container, which I'm really impressed with how easy it's been to get the stickers off the Dollar Tree items. But I'm also going to take a piece of boxing tape and tape it from the sides, using that as my support to keep the lid up because like I had showed you earlier, it was kind of falling down. So I'm just using it as support. And then I'm going to stagger all the items and just kind of place it where I think it looks nice. So y'all, I wanted to come on here and say a very special thank you for all of the love in the comment section and for all of my new subscribers, I wanted to give you a warm welcome. Y'all were just so sweet. I had so many people come over and say hello. Brie had shouted me out on her last video and I just felt the love, y'all. Y'all were so sweet, so supportive. I try to go through and read and reply to every single person who stopped by to say hello. I know your time is precious and so I wanted to make sure that I took the time just to reply back to everyone. I just really wanted to thank you for all of the love and I wanted to welcome all of my new subscribers. Hopefully my content motivates you and inspires you. Once again, thank y'all so much for being here. All right, y'all. I think this is my bloom box. Oh, come on. It is. So as I was editing this video, I had my Bloomsy box come and I really wanted to share it with y'all. I thought it was really cool and beautiful and I will go in details here in a second, but I kind of wanted to just show you how pretty the flowers were and then I will um, explain why I thought it was so cool. So in their packet, you open it up and it thanks you, all that fun stuff. Well first, it shares the pro tips here, which um, it says cutting at an angle, cut one inch off of each stem and remove its lower leaves, which I always remove the lower leaves off of my flowers, but I always did it just because it would look good. I didn't realize that it says here, this is so that no leaves are submerged in the water, which decreases vase life. I did not know that. Um, so, okay. It says here, it actually says here, we've come up with a fresher way to send flowers at Bloomsy Box. We are completely vertically aligned. We wanted to ship your flowers direct from our farms straight to your doorsteps instead of making a ton of stops along the way. And since they are shipping straight from the farms, your blooms aren't sitting around in a cooler wilting away, which makes them fresher. So I thought that was cool too. So when you open it, it kind of explains that. You have your pro tips and then it gives you four different ways to style it and it actually matches it up with picture. Let me focus here. So as you can see here, picture A with description A, description B 
with picture B, so on. And then if you flip it over on the back, it explains. So if you flip it around, it shows that it is Rainforest Alliance Certified Farms, which I honestly did not know what that was. So I read it and it says that the standard protects the ecosystems and wildlife. It says that it conserves water and soil, works to help promote decent and safe working conditions and ensures that farms are good neighbors to the local rural communities and wildlife located near the farms. I thought that was really impressive. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and share this and I'll leave a link in the description box. This is not sponsored y'all. I know it might seem like it is, but it is not sponsored. So Bloomsy Box is not paying me to say this they just gifted me these i messaged them and i asked them hey can i get a discount code so they emailed me a link with the discount code and you can get actually get 10 percent off by using the discount code fresh start and i'll actually put the link in the description box below and i will put the discount code above that um, so you can just copy and paste it to make it easier or um, in case you forget i'll also put it up here on the uh, screen but yeah it'll get you 10 percent off so yeah i just wanted to share that with y'all um, i'm gonna put these in a vase happy happy early valentine's day to me <laughs> Y'all, are these not so beautiful? I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And you'll have to let me know in the description box below, what is your favorite type of flowers? And also let me know what was your favorite basket today? All right, y'all, so that is all for today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas on what to get the loved ones in your life for Valentine's Day and on a budget. And don't forget to check out Sophie's channel. Her links will be in the description box below. And please let her know that I sent y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, I'm going to be moving over into my spring content next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell below. And that is all for today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time.